Hello friends! Wow, so many new friends! Welcome everyone! Somewhat recently one of you guys requested C++ bot for the T-Rex game from the Chrome browser. I'm afraid this video is too late for his project deadline, but regardless I think it's a nice challenge and a good exercise to use some of the things I talked about in my first two videos. So let me show you the result first. As you can see our not so scary T-Rex is running, jumping and dodging like a champ. That is at least up to 1.5k points. The bot could still be improved, but I'm quite happy with it for now. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. That's a hacking group we've been reporting on that's claimed responsibility for reasons to attack. First things first, let's gather some information about our target. We have to jump over cacti by pressing spacebar. We have to dodge birds with the down arrow key when they are at a specific height. Both of which have a specific color and seemingly the same color compared to the background. Also, the higher the score, the faster the game. One thing I've learned the hard way is you always need a reference point. So you need a reference point inside the game window which you are interested in meaning some point which does not change its location relative to the things we are interested in. In this case, those things are birds and cacti. Why is this a good idea? Because then the coordinates within the window are independent of anything outside the game window, like let's say the location of the browser or the location of the game within the browser. I chose the tail of the T-Rex, since it should be pretty easy to find automatically and since it's close to the area within the game we are interested in. This is where we put the origin of our coordinate system, so the coordinates of cacti and birds will be relative to this point. How do we get the position of the tail? First we need to know which pixel color we are looking for. In my previous video on the subject I introduced the getPixel function. We are going to use this function again, but with a little twist. Instead of using the desktop DC, we are using memory DC, as first argument of the function. We do this because it is faster and speed will be important when the game speed starts increasing. There are even faster methods, but we won't bother with those for now. So first up, let's create a function which copies the relevant part of the desktop DC into memory DC. We pretty much take a part of the screen and store it where the origin of that part starts at top right with 00, 0 as origin. We pass this argument as reference into the function. This means if we change the value of the argument inside the function, the variable outside the function is changed as well. Let's not forget to clean up at the end of the function. Decent memory management should never be ignored, but definitely not when working with graphic stuff. Now let's check what's the pixel color we are interested in. Business as usual. Create an infinite loop, if statements which check for the keyboard input. If you press numpad 4, let's output the coordinates of the pixel where our mouse is as well as its color. Simple stuff. So that's the color of the tail as well as the color of any other interesting object. Let's store that color into a variable. Next up let's create a function which finds the tail of the T-Rex. As argument we have the memory DC since we're gonna use it to find the pixel colors. Then we pass the coordinates of the top left corner so we can set the mouse cursor to where we are currently scanning. We don't really need to do that but it's kinda nice to see what is being scanned. Then we pass the coordinates where to start scanning for the tail. Those coordinates are now relative to the origin. And we pass values for x and y to get the range within we wanna scan. The function itself is quite simple. We just have two for loops, one going through the x coordinates and the other one through y. We check the color at each of those coordinates with the getPixel function and when the color matches the color of the tail we return that point. Alright, let's test out what we created so far. If we press numpad 1, let's get our bitmap with origin being our current mouse position. Pressing numpad 2, we call the getTail function. Here we gotta be careful to pass the right values for x and y. The ones we get from getCurrentPos are relative to the origin of the screen. So we have to convert them so that they are relative to the origin of our bitmap. We do this simply by subtracting the origin of the bitmap from the point coordinates. Let's run the code and check it out. Pressing numpad1 we have the bitmap and then numpad2. Very fast scan and our mouse ends up on the very tip of the tail. 
Nice. Well, that has to be enough for this video. I have some more university stuff coming up, but I'll try to make it up to you guys in February. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. A like or comment is also very welcome. Until next time friends, talk to you soon.